Hey, what's going on guys? Tony here, CCXRC. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the S155 G2 Smart Charger from Spectrum. Check it out. Okay guys, so I know that talking about chargers isn't the sexiest thing in RC we can be talking about. There's a whole bunch of other new releases, but I think talking about battery chargers is important. And I think that this is an awesome new offering in the low budget uh, variety of chargers to get people that are just starting in the hobby into charging up their lipos safely and uh, doing it better than just using a balanced lead uh, charger. So one of the first things that I have to dispel about this smart charger is that it will only do smart batteries. False. Completely wrong. Guys, you can charge uh, pretty much any battery that you want to with this. It has the standard balance lead input here and it has uh, IC3 and IC5 connectors um, right in this. You don't need an adapter to go between those. What you would need though is if you wanted to charge say a T-plug connector like this battery, you just need a way to get to an IC3 or EC3 like this is an EC3. Basically EC3 and IC3 are the same thing. Um, EC3 is just missing the gray wire that is the smart cable in it. But same size, same basic plug. Um, so you just need to get it down to that. So I would just plug this one into that IC3 connector. And then I would plug my battery also into the balance lead port. So that is now showing on here that I've got 4.13, 4.12, 4.10 readings on my cells in this battery. So uh, you are able to charge this. We hold this button in, it takes us to our menu there. And when we're in the menu, it is already to LiPo. It knows that it is 3S. Um, these are things that you can change. So current, so LiPo, you can go in here, click over it. You've got lithium ion, uh, life, PB, NIMH. So you've got some options. Down here, you can choose how many cells the battery is. This is a three cell. This can charge one to four cell batteries um, is, is the max that this can do. So this is getting into it beginner uh, quality. If you're gonna be doing 6S batteries, you've probably already got a better charger to do that. Um, but if you're just getting in, you have a 2S, 3S, 4S battery, this is perfect. Um, so go down, you can look at a current, five amps which this one I'd only charge at three amps anyway, because it's a 3000 milliamp hour battery. So I would come in here, scroll down to three. Boom. And I want to go to 4.2 voltage, and then I would hit start. Um, one of the cool things about this battery is that it will actually tell you uh, the internal resistance of the batteries um, right here that you're charging. So that doesn't only do it for smart batteries, it does it for non-smart batteries, and that lets you know about the health of your batteries um, right there. So uh, this battery is at 96%, which uh, is because I have it charged up already. I had it ready to go this weekend, didn't use it. We can hit stop here to stop it, or we go back to here. Um, it says it's charging, but if we hit this, it stops charging if you hit the left button. The other cool thing that this charger does is you can put it into sleep mode. Hold the left button when you're not charging, and boom, turns off. You're now in sleep mode. You don't have to unplug it. You can leave it plugged in. Pretty slick. So, other things that this charger can do. Let's go ahead and plug in a smart battery. I do have a four cell one right here. We're gonna zoom out a little. Um, I have a four cell battery here, pretty used. Um, and uh, as most of my batteries are, we do a lot of RC running around here. So I'm gonna push this in here. And I'm gonna plug in my balance lead. And this is actually just gonna go ahead and start charging. It knows what to do. It's a smart battery. And like that, it just started charging. It says it's at 30, 40%. Uh, and eventually it will tell me my charge time remaining, which is a really, really cool feature about these battery uh, chargers when you use them with a smart battery. Now this is a G1 battery, so it does have the balance lead. I just wanna point that out. Not all do. Other cool thing, you press and hold this, you can go in and we're gonna stop this and uh, go into the features. These can actually go into your battery settings on a smart battery and you can change the auto storage. So I have auto storage set to 120 hours. Um, you can change your charge current. 
charge voltage, all of that that's stored in here so it knows what to do when you plug it in. My favorite thing about these is that auto storage feature. So if I don't use this thing within 120 hours, uh, so five, five days, it'll automatically store its charge. Um, so yeah, you can go through here, you can go to the battery history, see how many charges it's had. This one has had 48 cycles on it. Um, so yeah, so you can go in and change those settings. There's also settings for the system with backlight, volume, completion tones, all that kind of stuff that it has on here, and whether or not you want it to auto, auto charge when you plug in a smart battery, uh, which I do. So um, there's self-test, calibration, and some other info in here. Um, so uh, we'll go back to start, we'll let it go, and uh, yeah, very, very cool charger, guys. One other one to show here. I'll show this 3S battery. It's a G2. Uh, so I'm going to stop this one. Same thing. I'm just going to plug this in. There's no balance lead, however, with this one to plug in. And it will just start charging. It'll, it'll read the battery as a G2. No balance lead. And it will figure it out and it'll balance charge it for us. Boom, charging. This one's at 99%. I actually have this one charged up. I just pulled it off of my uh, larger uh, G2 chargers. So you can only charge it up to 5 amps. The bigger ones you can charge up to like 15 amps on one, up to 20 amps on another. Um, and these batteries actually will allow you to charge at up to a 25 amp rate, uh, which is crazy fast. Um, and I don't usually ever do that. I usually will do... Maybe 2C, which would be 10 amp. So uh, 5,000 milliamp hour at 1C is 5 amps. At 2C charge rate, that would be at 10 amps or, you know, so basically double. But uh, then you can go up to five times, which is the 25 amps, which is crazy. So uh, this only will do five amps, which is pretty good. That's all I ever charged my batteries at for the first uh, five years in the hobby was, you know, if it was a 5,000 mile, which most of my batteries were, um, I would charge them at five amps. So guys, super cool, 60 bucks. You get an awesome display screen on this thing. Uh, a great charger that can charge any up to 4C battery, uh, 4S battery, sorry. And um, yeah, you can upgrade it. And it takes up a small footprint on your desk. It's, it's great if you have a SCX24, you can get an adapter uh, that you plug into your EC. IC3 that'll let you charge your micro batteries on here. Um, again, 1S to uh, 4S, you hold this button, turns it off, hold this button, you can go in and, um, you know, change all your different settings on here. Uh, system settings again. Uh, I'm going to turn my volume down one to uh, middle and then um, completion tone if you want to keep repeating or if you want, only want it to do it once. I leave mine on to keep repeating so I don't ever just leave something plugged in. It'll just keep reminding me until I stop and take care of it. But anyway, guys, that is it. The S155 G2 charger from Spectrum. You guys saw it here. It's awesome. Um, they just came out today. So definitely, definitely look into it if you're new and in, in the market for a charger. Anyway, guys, thanks for tuning in as always. Hope you have fun, RCN. Catch you next time.